Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story, Lord of the Injured Mad. Hi, Lord of the Horror Major, just preparing the 22 boxes, Madman, Cute as Fuck, 2013, and Don't Run to the Guy. I am a motherfucking god of war. Oh, I can see you actually repair that. <laughs> kind of fun wise at that point, but hey. Not gonna complain. This is not the way I'm meant to be headed, but I'm very curious about what lies beyond this. That lies in this direction, anyway. You know, I could instead wait till morning. Or that's not necessary if I go indoors. So let's check out the indoors option. Uh, did they have any beds? I could actually do with an hour of a nap. Seriously, motherfucking God of War. That went surprisingly well for just dumping around with a missile launcher. So, did I loot you? Yeah, you just had ant meat. Not the most delicious meal I've ever heard of. Oh, what's down here? <gasps> Is it literally nothing? Uh, no. It's a bunker? We saw all we needed to see. Okay, that was interesting. Where did it come from? Was it a trap? Oh, also... That guy, I don't like. Let's avoid him for now. There may be a motherfucking god of war. But I'm not reckless. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, I'm not reckless. Let's keep that argument in our hearts. As if it was actually true. Yeah. No. Instantly identified. Why are you still alive, dude? You're supposed to die to my watching. Well, you won't be the future if you go ahead and get yourself killed by some stupid human. Will ya? No you won't. So don't do that, you idiot. Maybe you should still stick to... You know, bursts like that. And that didn't work. Can I hit it from here? Hit it! Yeah! Was the it a dance floor? No, it wasn't. The it was the enemy. Which is re really, you know, really thoughtless of me. Anyway, uh, what do we want? Repair and science irrelevant, medicine irrelevant, dog picking irrelevant, explosives irrelevant, energy weapons irrelevant, pecans irrelevant, partner, speech and unarmed. Uh, stealth. It's very, very. Necessary. Let's get some speech. Let's get some barter. Yeah, that's beautiful. Do we need anything, anything else? Did I... Did I look at things wrong? No, I don't think I did. Continue. I should actually look into putting points into weapons. Because, you know, that would be wise, maybe. <laughs> oh, well. Irrelevant. Uh, what did I unlock with level 12? Cannibal. Cannibal. Oh. Wait, that's, was that a song? The cannibal perk, when you're in a sneak run, you gain the option to eat the corpse to regain health, but every time you feed, you lose karma, and if the act is witnessed, it is considered a crime against nature. Ooh. That is actually pretty nifty. Oh. Huh. 
Ah, that's actually really interesting. It would be even more interesting to just be able to work things. Huh. Okay. Well, Fortune Finder is always a good option. But I think I would actually go with Finesse, because uh, that sounds very useful. If I maxed out my luck, would it count for 15? Okay, log entry. Right, this is the earliest. Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human elements so the audience will feel more engaged. I'd like to launch a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices from promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me and I urge you to rethink this decision. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. If any of these interests you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit the standard research request before the cut-off date. All submissions must be made by October, 20, October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get them in. Supersonic Airliner, Sax Computer Prototype, Original Module D45D Power Armor Suit, Laser Pistol Prototype. Okay, so... Our new addition to the spaceflight gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project and as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back, you've earned it. The virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe score, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has improved. Yay! Machine souls. I thought this was a desk. I thought I was looting it. <sighs> What am I doing with my life? Just sitting here, thinking. <sighs> oh well. Zoom stealth. Stealth boy. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 personal stealth device. device. Developed by Robot Mayflower, the stealth boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. Um, no signs of enemies at the moment. Whoop. I thought I saw items. Apparently not. Did I loot both of them? No. I did not. Oh. What did they do to the airplane? It must have been the blast wave, really. Huh. The thing that did most of this facility in. And museum information. I love museums. Copernicus Planetarium schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and ticket prices. The long road to Mars, 1 pm, 3 pm, 5 pm. Take a simulated flight through the stars from our Earth to the Red Planet. Journey beyond our stars, 1 30 pm, 3 30 pm. What lies beyond our universe? Take a theoretical journey farther than anyone's gone before. We roll to start us 12 30, 12 pm, 4 pm. This program asks a simple but thought provoking question Where did we come from? Say new planet show, 11 30, 12 pm. 2.30, 4.30. Join Captain Space Galaxy as it travels the solar system 
and visit each of the worlds within it. Recommended for kids 4 to 10 years old. Ah, Gigante Max Streeter schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and ticket prices. Yikes! 12 pm, 3 pm, 6 pm. Govern fear as all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you a park's eye view of oncoming traffic. For a coaster? For a coaster. 1 pm, 4 pm. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life. All from the safety of our 300 seat Gaga Gigantamax Theater. Right then of the world's most notorious roller coasters from the front seat. Sickness packs, not included. Colonoscope. <laughs> Colonoscope. Colonoscopy. Something. 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Using our special Gigantamax technology, you too can go up someone's ass. Yeah. You'll marvel at the details on our free story screen as you take a real time voyage into a very familiar part of the human anatomy. Special events. Thanks to the generous grant from the Vortec Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of actual Vault and observe all of the modern conveniences Vault Tech has added to its now legendary nuclear fallout sh shutters. Interact with the exhibits within the Vault and see just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is as comfortable as living at home. Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the main atrium. Woo! West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the D-51B power armor suit in a Dormin theater. Get a first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary within with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Time tickets are available at the information desk in the main atrium. Note that the liability behavior must be signed to attend this event. Oppenheimer's Folly, a lecture by Professor R.J. Gumby. This lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think, and the effects it will have on the future of the planet. By illustrating past uses of smaller scale atomic weapons, Professor Gumby will shock you, frighten you, and make you wish you could just duck and cover to survive a nuclear attack. A real nuclear attack, even. Tickets are now available for this lecture series at the information desk in the main atrium. Yes, back. Exhibit guide. Transportation exhibit. The Museum of Technology is proud to present the journey through the history, history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysalis Corporation. The Museum of Technology is proud to be the home of some of the more original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Katsen and Protection Robotic lines. See the development of these metallic assistants and how they made their lives easier. Play your artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at your robot the same way again. Exhibit sponsored by Robco and General Atomics International. Take to the skies and soar above the clouds as you wish as you view our aircraft exhibits throughout the Museum of Technology. The original Wright Brothers Flyer, the vintage World War II B-51 Mustang and several other aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also be sure and visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline Light on board a full-size jetliner or step into the hair-rising white knuckle world of air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit. Sponsored by Lockheed Industries. Countdown to excitement as you take, ta take to the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marvel at man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first manned moon landing. There will be forces beyond your comprehension in our working chief force simulator ride or take to the stars in the Copernicus Planetarium. Exhibits sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Wait, was there anything more? Nope. Wait, what's, what's, what is this? Hey there, chicks. I finally found a good place to teach your share of the loot. It was a hell getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the infantry animals in this place. Their computer security was a joke. 
Complete the sequence and you're home free, but make any mistakes and the system will lock you out. We'll meet, meet up in the usual spot later. Oh. There's some loot. This loot. There's loot around this museum of technology. Yes. There's loot. There's loot. Where the fuck is this loot? Because I want it now. I want this loot in my pockets. That's the right place for them. I don't know where it might be, but I'm gonna put it all in my pockets. Yes. Because my pockets are huge and can carry 280 pounds of stuff. That's... Let's investigate the back rooms in case there's loot. Hello, are you loot? Hello, are you loot? No. Why is no one in the bathroom loot? Stop not being loot bathroom. Ooh, first aid. Thank you. Investigate this side. Garbage. Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, this episode has dragged on long enough, so uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.